What's happening, fam? LA all movement still moving. Um, the single mother industrial complex. Might rub some people the wrong way with this one, but let's talk about it. <clears throat> Heard that term in a video I was watching. I forgot who made it recently, but they, they like they called it the baby mama industrial complex. They were just talk, ranting, and they just said that, and I was like, you know what? That's pretty much what it is. So, talk about this subject in this manner. Uh, first, I'd like to apologize to all the actual single mothers out there who actually are doing a damn this to be the best parents they could be and, and have their, uh, make sure their child or children have the opportunities to be the best human being that they can because they lumped in with some trifling people. Now, what do, we mean, what do I mean when I say the single mother industrial complex? Well, you know, first you start with the idea that being a mother is an all-encompassing term that you had to be, that, 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 because I've met women who wanted to have children, but they didn't want to, um, they wanted to be the sole parent. So I've met women who, who got pregnant with the explicit intention of getting rid of the guy who's the father. You know, I've met women who basically say they, they, that's what they're trying to do now. And um, it starts with, the, with that mentality, with, you know, the minute somebody's pregnant, the first thing they try to do is apply for child support. You know, never, never even taking a, never even seeing how good of a parent this, 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 the father is or isn't. It's just automatically let's get let's get this system popping. You know, um, so in, in there are many cases where guys never failed these women or they didn't show up to the job. They weren't given a chance to. They just immediately were thrown in the system. And seeing that the, system, the, the, the judicial system itself or family courts are going to side with a mother nine out of ten times, uh, it's uh, to be so emotional and illogical, it's a very logical move if you're trying to selfishly get what you want. So to be very tactical and, and uh, in that manner, it's like, oh, I, know, I know what I, I'm going to get out of this, creates a problem because, you know, th th there are a lot of, single mothers out here who do dirt under the, the, the guise of the helpless, the damsel in distress type of mother. And people, it, it's so widespread that now a lot of people are seeing right through the BS. Like, no, you, you orchestrated this whole thing on purpose and now you want to cry your crocodile tears and get other people in their emotions to be on your side. And then you find you find out that you know this person's on on some bull. And that happens a lot. I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna say all oh, or nothing like that. It just happens a lot. Um, you get the people who want um, they want to be on Section Eight because it's cheap living. They want because you know outside of getting the custody going for them nine times out of ten, of course. Uh, custodial custody, like it, it's, it, joint custody is usually a norm, but custodial custody is what's the nine out of ten times. But besides that, you got too many people applying for getting on these Section Eight um, housing lists, so they can live these cheap lifestyles, which creates another problem because look, you you you. you Depending on the the style, the style of the neighborhood, you're pretty much getting a child accustomed to a poverty-stricken or a, or a, the masquerade of middle class in a poverty-stricken environment, which in a in a in a, in a surrounding with a bunch of other females who are on the same type stuff. 
there is nothing to counterbalance it and offset it because when we talk about these neighborhoods and, and some people say they're matriarchal communities, they're matriarchal communities because of the system. Men are not supposed to be around Section 8 housing. So they are matriarchal communities set up by, by the governmental programs and by the women who choose to, to take this route as a, as a means to uh, subsidize their lives. Go a little further into that, you know, the, the, the medicating or over-medicating of these children with, oh, oh we're going we gonna to say you got this, we're going to say you got ADD, or oh, they're not going to give you that, we're going to give you this one, or we're going to say you this, or autistic, or this. We're we going to figure out a way to get some of these social security benefits. And once again, you know, damaging the children. You see, first you damage the relationship with, 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 with the father, then you damage the children while they're growing, mind you, with, with all of these chemicals and quote unquote medicines that, that, that's killing their living and you see these kids growing up built oddly and bad built and, and, and they can't process thing, food or anything right. It's hard to see in shape children anymore. That, that's just ridiculous to me. Along with that, you, you find yourself in that situation where and you take them to these schools and they act up and then all of a sudden you get them accustomed to having these situations where, you know, everybody says they're a troublemaker. They're not really a troublemaker. They're just accustomed to getting their way. You know why? Because they got a chance to see their parents or their, or their, their custodial parent be away, be able to get away with murder. You know, they could lie to bill collectors. They they could lie to people. They could they could start an argument, call the police, and say you did it. And and the kids grow up like, oh, I could do whatever I want. There's no consequences for me because that's what my mama does on a regular basis. So they're creating these these situations and scenarios with these uh, children growing up where they think they could do anyway anything. That's why part of this street culture that people are talking about with these kids being out of line is they in the streets breaking all kinds of street rules and codes of conduct not even just in the streets but just breaking codes of conduct whether it's legal or illegal moral or immoral because they're in these environments where you know there is no code of conduct you can just do whatever and and, and people don't realize uh grown adult women get more of a pass than children and, and that goes for male and female you know so a little bit further than that the one thing I see is a lack of skill when they're in these environments these kids don't you know I get I, I look online and the kids you can tell the difference between a kid that's around their father and a kid that's not. And it's not, be, it's not just the way they carry themselves and their demeanor or their intelligence. It's more so they have more skills. Like, you see kids cutting hair, young boys cutting hair, or, or, or being able to drive, or, yeah, being able to drive, or um, boxing, or chess, to be able to think to be able to critically think and have a conversation to break down news like it's not you you can you can tell the level of you can tell the single mothers are like here and and the, and the kids with, with two parents are like up here just by the way they, they act the etiquette you know the way the, the the way they dress a lot of times the way you know the things that the, the way that they self um, self-sustain themselves work ethic all that comes into play and it's because of the single mother industrial complex it's all for a profit because a lot of times we, 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 they send these kids out into the world when they're adults because just like in a, being adopted by the state at a certain point you can't profit off of them no more, you gotta go. 
And it, it comes off that same way. You know, last child support payment come through, the last, you know, the last uh, earned income credit come through. I can't get nothing else off you. You got to go. And they just send them out to the world with nothing. And then they lose it. And the anger comes from not being taught how to survive, how to thrive, you know, how to think, how to, how to adapt, how to adjust, how to be able to, to, to deal in this society. And it's pretty much because of the interaction of this complex. You know, I'm going to leave it at